Recently, many have come to realize that several weapons and equipment supplied by the United States and NATO, which were left behind on the battlefields in Ukraine and later seized by Russia, have been sent to Iran. Iran has long been known for its prowess in reverse engineering. This technique allows for dissecting and understanding the workings of various programs and technologies. Often they collaborate with Chinese technicians, enabling them to rejuvenate old or damaged military technologies, making them as good as new and equally advanced, thus bolstering their military might. Now, let's delve into the evidence of Iran's military strength. Iran's armed forces comprise two distinct military branches. The first is the Revolutionary Guard, better known as the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, and the second is the Iranian Army, colloquially referred to as Artesh, which serves as the National Army. The Artesh encompasses four divisions, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the newly formed Air Defense Force. The Iranian National Air Force, officially known as the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force or IRIAF, has been operational since 1925. Initially called the Imperial Iranian Air Force, it was renamed after the 1979 Iranian Revolution. Throughout its history, the Iranian Air Force has been involved in numerous pivotal operations most notably during Operation Sultan 10. This mission aimed to repel Iraqi forces occupying border regions of Iran. During this operation, the Iranian Air Force played a crucial role in launching air raids against Iraqi military positions, infrastructure, and logistic facilities. This operation commenced on October 29, 1980, marking the onset of the Iran-Iraq War. It involved six American-made F-4E Phantom II aircraft and 33 IRIF units attacking the al Huria Air Base near Mosul in Iraq. Currently, the IRIF boasts 45,000 personnel out of a total military force of 1,015,000 members. Their funding stems from a total military budget of 5.5 billion US dollars. They operate an impressively diverse fleet of aircraft. Let's break down their air assets, one by one. According to Global Firepower's website, the E-RIF possesses a total of 541 aircraft units. This includes 196 fighter jets, 31 attack planes, 126 helicopters, 86 transport aircraft, 94 trainers, 9 special mission units, 12 attack helicopters, and a tanker fleet comprising 7 units. Iran's Air Force boasts an array of missiles and bombs, which form a crucial component of their defense and offensive capabilities. Notable among these is the GAST, a precision rocket-powered smart bomb developed to suit the Iranian Air Force's needs. It has a reach of approximately 62 miles and can carry an explosive payload of up to 1,984 pounds. Then there's the Zubin, an air-to-ground missile developed during the Iran-Iraq War. It's a rocket-powered version of the American M117 bomb equipped with television guidance. The ATGM Sadid-1, capable of being launched from the Shahed-129 drone, is another addition to their arsenal. The Fateh series consists of tactical ballistic missiles, which includes the Fateh-110 and Fateh-313. The Fateh-110 boasts a significant range and the capability to carry payloads between approximately 1,102 to 1,322 pounds. The Qayyum series, also a family of tactical ballistic missiles, is considered one of the most modern and advanced missiles in Iran's possession. Another noteworthy missile is the Satar, 
introduced as Iran's first laser-guided missile back in 2010. And lastly, the Ya'ali cruise missile, launched from the air, had its inaugural flight on May 11, 2014. As for air superiority fighter aircraft, designed and optimized for dominating airspace over the battlefield, they possess the Russian-made Mikoyan MiG-29, and are in the process of acquiring the Sukhoi Su-35, along with the American-made Grumman F-14 Tomcat. These fighter jets are crafted to dominate and win aerial combats against enemy aircraft, annihilate aerial targets like fighter jets, bombers, air-to-air -air missiles, and also to safeguard their own troops and infrastructure. In the category of multi-role fighter aircraft, which are designed to perform various missions and tasks on the battlefield, Iran boasts an assortment of jets. They have the domestically produced Hisa Saike and Hisa Kausar, the Russian-made Su-22, the Chinese-made Chengdu J-7, the French-made Mirage F-1, and the American-made McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II and Northrop F-5 Tiger II. These aircraft offer the versatility to undertake multiple roles, such as air-to-ground strikes, surface-to-air defense, air-to-sea attacks, reconnaissance, air defense, and air-to-air -air combat. Shifting focus to their ground attack aircraft, Iran primarily employs the Hisa Azaraksh and the Russian Sukhoi Su-24. In the realm of general-purpose transport and utility aircraft, they operate ten different types. This list includes the Ukrainian Antonov An-74, the Russian Ilyushin Il-76, the French Dassault Falcon 20 and Dassault Falcon 50, the Dutch Fokker F-27 Friendship, the Swiss Pilatus PC-6 Porter, and the American Boeing 707, Boeing 747, Lockheed C-130, Hercules, and Lockheed Jetstar. These aircraft serve a myriad of purposes, ranging from civil and military operations to humanitarian aid missions. Of special note is Iran's latest and most reliable multi-role transport aircraft, the Hisa Simurg, which was unveiled on May 19, 2022. This aircraft, powered by the Russian Klimov TV-317 turboprop, has been specifically designed to be adaptable to Iran's climatic conditions. Adapted from the Ukrainian Antonov An-140, its standout features include agility, a lightweight design, an impressive cargo capacity of up to 13,228 pounds, and a flight range of approximately 559 miles. Now, let's shift our attention to the types of helicopters in their arsenal. For training purposes, the IRI AF employs the Italian-made Augusta Bell 206. For utility roles, they operate the Italian-made Augusta Bell 212. For heavy transport and logistics, they have the American-made Boeing CH-47 Chinook. And for multi-purpose operations, they rely on the Russian-made Mil Mi-17. Leaving behind the IRF's aircraft collection, let's venture into their drone fleet. It's evident that Iran's military foresight is vast, as they've been developing this technology since the 1980s. This advancement has positioned them as a formidable presence, causing apprehension in countries like Israel and among Ukrainian forces. While some nations might scoff at Iran, suggesting that their technological advancements stem from mimicking other countries, it's undeniable that their drone capabilities are extensive. To put this into perspective, they currently operate 32 different types of drones or unmanned aerial vehicles. Key among these is the Shahed series, developed domestically in Iran. 
This series includes variants like the Shahid 129, a versatile UAV with air-to-ground strike capabilities. Other noteworthy models are the Shahid 191 and Shahid 136, also known as kamikaze drones or loitering munitions, due to their unique capability to hover around a target area and detonate on command. Then there's the renowned Ababil series, which has seen action in various regional conflicts. These UAVs have diverse mission capabilities, including surveillance and monitoring. The Karar is another standout, armed with air-to-ground strike capabilities, and can carry both bombs and air-to-ground missiles. The Mohajer series, consisting of various variants, has also been actively used by Iran in military operations. The Yasir, a tactical reconnaissance UAV, stands out for its capability to capture aerial imagery and provide battlefield intelligence. Another intriguing addition is the RQ-170 Sentinel copycat. Although not an original Iranian production, they have claimed to have captured and reverse-engineered this American spy drone after it fell into Iranian territory. They subsequently developed a local version referred to as the Copycat, based on the captured UAV's data. The most recent and advanced is the Arash drone, including the Arash 2 variant, known for its long-range anti-radar capabilities. This suicide drone, which became operational in 2020, is rumored to have the capacity to reach as far as Israel. Looking ahead, Iran plans to bolster their air force fleet with more advanced aircraft. Some of these anticipated additions include the Russian-made fighter jets Sukhoi Su-30, Su-34 fullback, and Sukhoi Su-57, as well as the Chinese-made Chengdu J-10 and Shenyang FC-31. The IREF is also in the process of developing the stealth fighter IAIO Kaher 313. They aim to transform this into their latest UAV, enabling unmanned flight. Quite impressive, isn't it?